Hello guys, in this tutorial let's see all about inverse of a relation and complement of a relation and we'll also try to go through matrix form, how to write the matrix form and how to represent a relation in terms of a graph. Okay, I'll be covering most of the important topics of a relations. So, inverse, try to stay up to the end of this video guys because it's going to help you a lot. So, basically inverse of a relation and complement of a relation are completely different guys. It is not at all relevant they are not at all similar okay let us assume that r is equals to 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 1 okay only these are the elements in r where r is the relation between a and a okay where a is equals to 1 2 3 just it's just our assumption guys so we need to find R inverse. What is R inverse? R inverse is nothing but the something what we'll be calling will be the mirror image. Okay, of two one comma two is two comma one. Shuff, just we'll be shuffling the places where a comma b is changed to b comma a like that. Three comma one and one comma two. Okay, guys, I hope you are clear now with relation with inverse of a relation okay I hope everyone is clear now okay let us go through a complement of a relation okay let us take this example as it is where r is equals to 1 2 1 3 2 1 I think everyone know what is a complement in sets a complement of a set let us assume a is given by the rest of the elements other than that a other than the a the left out is the complement of a it is denoted by r power c or r bar r small bar or r bar okay here similar way a is equals to 1 2 3 so it is clear that we need to find all the combinations of this and subtracting these values we gonna get some relation that is our complement okay let's go through it we'll be getting like this okay where a 1 1 comma 1 is possible 1 comma 2 is possible 1 comma 3 is possible 2 comma 1 is possible 2 comma 2 is possible 2 comma 3 is possible 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 these are all the possibilities which was possible for Cartesian product A cross A okay once cancelling these 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 1 the rest of these 1 2 3 4 5 these 5 pairs are the R complement of this I hope now you are clear with complement and inverse I hope everyone is clear now okay guys further continuing our lecture every relation can be represented in the form of a matrix okay there is an LAQ on this topic on this complement inverse and this matrix representation okay let's go through it r is equals to given 2 comma 1 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 therefore you will be just doing a small thing such that let y axis be x this will be in terms of x and this will be in terms of y so just you will be marking as if you are writing a graph in terms of a matrix similarly like that 1 comma 1 there is no 1 comma 1 so 0 1 comma 2 is not there 0 2 comma 1 is there so 1 2 comma 2 is not there 0 3 comma 1 is there 1 3 comma 2 is there 1 like that okay I hope everyone got a small idea on it okay so similarly you can solve this problem also here he gave the matrix form and he told to find the relation so I hope everyone got a small idea on what these relations are all about and in this tutorial we have covered inverse complement and representation this video is really really important for you guys in the next tutorials we will be continuing this topic so stay tuned thanks for watching